everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is a get ready with me and i'm testing out for the first time the iheart revolution um, tasty pizza palette i already made a video of the tasty chili one and if you like to see it i will link it somewhere up here so you can watch it after this video but in this video i will be testing out the pizza one and i'm really excited because this is also like a first impression video because i didn't use it yet and obviously i will be doing the rest of my makeup because i have nothing on yet if you're new here on my channel i'm a dutch girl and i'm living in marmaris turkey and i make a lot of videos about beauty lifestyle vlogs here in turkey so if you like to see that make sure you subscribe and of course i also have an instagram where you can follow me and now let's get started with the video it is still summer here in turkey it's quite hot not as hot as it used to be so i'm really happy about that so i I got a long sleep on which I'm regretting a little bit because it's still a summer I'm not going to use like a lot on my skin I like it quite light but I do like to use like a BB cream but I find that if I apply it on my dry skin of course I moisturize but I find if I apply this without a primer it gets a little bit like patchy it goes like uh, on my dry bits on my skin I don't know why so um, I'm going to prime first and for that I'm using the Flormar Ruminating Primer Base. I'm just going to apply this with my fingers. And then I'm going in with the Olas Total Effect 7-in-1 PP Cream and this is in the color Fair. And I'm going to use the mirror in the eyeshadow palette because it has a really nice big mirror. As you can see it has a really nice big mirror so I'm using this mirror for today. And I really like if a eyeshadow palette has a mirror like if you travel somewhere or I don't know I just find it really handy. And I clean my brushes it's always such a nice feeling if you are using clean brushes. I don't know if you can tell but my skin has got so much better if you watch my videos from this winter or from last summer i had so much acne and the weird thing is i never had acne in my life like when i was a teenager i i didn't have any problems and then last summer it started and it was just really awful like my old skin was like especially here which i still got some scars left and here it was just yeah really a lot of acne maybe i will make a video about it and tell you what i did to clear it up and now i just got like one spot here as you can see but that's quite normal i always got like maybe like one or two spots but nothing too crazy but what i got was just yeah a lot because this is a really light base i want some more coverage on my spots and on my scars so for that I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is in the color, let me see, 10. Just applying this where I want more coverage and there's a hair. And then one of my favorite things is concealer to brighten up my face more. So I'm using the uh, Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Erase Concealer in the color Ivory. And I love this concealer. It's really nice and bright. But there's not too much left anymore, so I need to get a new one. And I'm not really sure if I will repurchase this. Yeah, I will definitely repurchase this because it's a nice concealer. Or um, I will try something new, like for example the uh, Revolution one looks quite nice to me. And I also apply this on my eyelid for the eyeshadow base later. And as you can see it makes such a huge difference in your face. At least I think so. <laughs> Now I'm going to use some powder and for that I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the color 5 Silky Beige. As you can see my skin, ooh, <laughs> my skin is still quite natural, it's nothing too heavy or too cakey. Although I do like a little bit more coverage in the winter time but in the summer I don't know, I just prefer a lighter coverage. 
and I lost the lids from the powder. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm going to bronze my face up a little bit and for that I'm using the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in the color 26 Sunkissed. As you can see, I hit the pen, but it goes a really long way. I have this powder for quite a while now. And um, yes, I really like it. I also think it was one of the first bronzers I ever bought. Obviously not this one, but yes, it was one of the first. I believe I got it by a magazine, like by the Elle Girl or the uh, Cosmopolitan uh, Girl. Like it was like a teenage version. And then when you bought it, you got some um, makeup products from Rimmel. So I remember I got like a bronzer and like a blush, I believe. I'm not really sure. Or like a lip gloss, something like that. Now it's time for some blush. And I'm using the Rituals uh, Blush in the color Peach Glow. I'm using this shade because it's a little bit of a warmer color. And I want to create also a warm eye look because obviously we're going into fall and I just love like warm uh, colors then. And obviously we need a highlighter and for that I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Lightscapades. Now that the base is all done, I'm going to start with my eyes. But first off, I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm using the Essence uh, Eyebrow Designer in the color 4 Blonde. This is such a budget-friendly eyebrow pencil and I just really love it. The color is really nice, it's not too warm because sometimes I find uh, eyebrow pencils for blondes quite warm. And I like a little bit more of a neutral, uh, cool toned shade. So this one is really perfect. And obviously Essence is really budget friendly, so... so now I did my eyebrows and um, yes, you already saw the palette obviously a little bit, but this is it. So this is the iHeart Revolution Tasty Pizza Eyeshadow Palette. And I just love, love the shades in here. Look at how pretty these uh, glittery shades are. For example, this one and the silver one right here. There's also a lot of beautiful matte shades. And I think you can create a lot of different looks here. It is a mixture of cool tones and warm tones. Really nice crease colors. Blues, greens, reds. Um, yes, a lot of different nice shades. Like I said, because it's full, I'm going to create quite a warm toned eye look. Um, so yes, let's get started and I'm going to start off with a uh, dough, which is a nice crease color This one right here and there comes a lot of pigment off so That's promising As you can see it's a really pigmented shade For me, this is like the perfect crease shade. Then I'm going in with this shade right here Again, super pigmented a little bit more of a cooler toned brown. As you can see, they blend really well. The Margarita was a little bit more of a cooler tone, but because I used the dough, they match quite nicely. So um, now I'm going in with Pepperoni, which is a red shade. It is this one right here called Pepperoni. And I'm going to apply this in the outer. Oh my. This is so pigmented. I don't know if you can see it. I just went in once. As you can see, it's super pigmented. So, let's see. Oh, wow. That is really pigmented. This is quite a deep red. So I'm going in with a brush that has no color on it. And I'm blending out the edges a little bit. So let's see what we are going to do with the lid. So I think I'm going first in with this color Saucy right here. I'm going first in with that one and then later I'm going to add also a, a golden shade. And this has also a really nice shimmer in it. Not like big chunks of glitter but yeah, a really nice uh, shimmer. As you can see, really pretty shade and I think these shades are perfect for uh, blue eyes because it really makes it pop. And then I'm going in with Calzona, which is like a golden orange shade, which is this one right here on the top. 
and that shade matches my nails really perfectly and I'm going to apply this more on the inner corner and then blend it a little bit out again super pretty blends really nice with the other shade I want to add one more color mm, let's go in with slice Slice is the shade right here, so right in the center. Ooh. Oh wow, very really pretty again. On my bottom lash I'm also going to apply a little bit of the uh, Margarita and the Pepperoni just to blend everything nicely together. And then I'm going to apply some eyeliner and for that I'm using the Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner. And for mascara I'm using the Yves Rocher Sexy Pulp Mascara. And then for my lips I'm going to use the MAC Mare Lipstick which is a really nice uh, darker natural shade. I am really loving this palette. The colors are absolutely beautiful. Again, super pigmented, same like the uh, Chili palette. The last palette I have to try is the Avocado one. So I'm also really excited to try that one. This palette is, I believe, 12 euros full price. But in the Netherlands, uh, I got it for 75% off. Well, my sister got it for me. But yes, it was 75% off. So a really great price. Still, I think for 12 euros, this is a bargain. I think the colors are just pigmented, beautiful. You can create so many different looks with this. You have all of your natural colors in here. Also some different colors like the red and the uh, green shade. So you can create a lot of different looks with this. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to give the huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And of course, you can also follow me on Instagram. And I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos. Bye.